Hello there, this is Rahil from All About Affiliate Marketing. In today's video, we'll talk about the affiliate program of Hostinger. So let me take you to the website, which is hostinger.com. For the ones who don't know about them, Hostinger is a web hosting provider and domain registrar founded in 2004. They offer various hosting services, including share hosting, rebase hosting, and cloud hosting, as well as domain registration services. They are known for the affordable hosting plans and user-friendly interface, making them a popular choice for individuals and small businesses looking to establish an online presence. So if you want to get yourself a website, maybe blog, or maybe you want to have a website builder or domains, then you can come to the website. You can explore all these amazing plans they got and what the features they have available for that and get yourself a plan if you like. But that's not exactly why we're here. We're here to earn money from hosting it. Can we do that? Of course we can. We simply have to join the affiliate program of Hostinger and start promoting them to our audience or traffic. And when we bring sales to them, guess what? We'll get commission. So who can join the affiliate program of Hostinger? Doesn't matter wherever, from wherever you are, as so long as Hostinger is available in your country, you can join the affiliate program of Hostinger. To the consumers of which country can you promote them? Again, so long as Hostinger provides the services to the consumer from that country, you can promote them, uh, promote Hostinger to those consumers. Now let's talk about the affiliate program. For that, on the website, you can scroll down to the very bottom of the page, and over here, you can click on Affiliate Program. This is here, Affiliate Program. And when you do that, we'll take you to the Affiliate Program page of Hostinger. You can learn more about um, the Affiliate Program in here. It's four steps um, process. So you start with sign up, then you track your performance, you use affiliate banners, and you get a payout. How much commission can you earn? That's an interesting question, isn't it? So you could earn at least 60% of every sell. Now, that's great. You know, whatever sell you bring to them, you could earn at least 60%. Now, if you scroll down, you can see more like user first affiliate marketing. You get your own manager, a high conversion rate, a special affiliate program. And then comes the affiliate FAQ section. Over here, you can click on get answer, which will take you to the affiliate FAQ page. Uh, here, you will find different sections and the questions, the frequently asked questions. You can explore these questions and the answers and your, your questions will be answered this way. Uh, of course, I will be covering the important things in this video, but if you have more questions, you can come to this page and learn all about the affiliate program. Now, if you scroll down on the affiliate program page, you get assets as well, like banner all. There's an agreement that you can explore. And if you decide to, to log in or to sign up, to log in, you can simply click on access uh, affiliate platform but to sign up you can click here join now which will take you to to this page again it could be the login page for you over here you can click on partner sign up which will take you to the registration page and there are four sections you can fill and i will start entering my details for your case you can start entering yours now all the information i'm going to write here that will be dummy for educational purpose but in your case i would advise you to enter the correct details because once you fill up this form the hosting affiliate program team will review your details we'll see whether you could fit for them or not and that's based on that they will give you the approval anyways in affiliate marketing you should always keep integrating and transparency out there so all the information you fill in should be accurate for me i'm just going to enter dummy information for education purpose all right so company name you can mention either your company name or the name so let's say if you plan to promote hosting it on your company website then go with the company name but if you plan to promote them on a website or blog then you can enter your name in here here you got a website so you can enter your website what if you don't have a website and you plan to promote hosting and maybe on your youtube channel or social media uh, page in that case you can enter that url in here i'm just going to go with test website url but in your case you can enter the url accordingly then you can enter your address um, in address one which is compulsory you can mention your city i'm just going to write mine um, select your country the country of residence a region, region should be the province or the state. So I'm gonna write mine, then zip, zip code. So either you might have pin code or zip code, enter that accordingly, um, followed by the phone number. And then if you got a text ID, you can enter your text ID too. And then you can give the cookie consent. This website relies on use of cookies to store information in your computer, acknowledge and accept the use of cookies. So you can tick mark that and click on next. So it will take you to step number two. Over here, you can enter your details. I'm just gonna go with uh, the first name as Sean. The last time in any you in your case you can give your name uh, you can uh, enter your email address I'm just gonna update it to my another email address 
and uh, followed by a password so you can decide the password password should have uh, these things in there uh, ensure when you create a password you should have these things available and once you've entered the password your name, email address, and the password, you can click on next. Uh, this will take you to the step number three. Over here, you can provide more information, like what is your main channel to promote hosting at brands. So you can click here. Let's say if you got a blog, where you plan to promote them, select like blog. If you got a YouTube channel, social media account, like select it accordingly. But what if you got a website? Click on other. And whatever you select in here, so you should provide the URL for those channels as well. Let's say if you plan to promote them, uh, the host hosting uh, services on three or four different channels of yours, meaning you might want to promote them a website, a blog, social media, then you should provide all the URLs in here. In my case, I'm just going to enter the dummy URL. In your case, you can enter, you can provide the URL, so you plan to promote them. Then which products are you going to promote? So you can select whether you will be pro uh, promoting hosting or the website builder or both. So accordingly, you can select how many visitors or views does your website channel receive on an average per month. So I'm going to write here over 5,000 per month. In your case, you can write it accordingly. Now, again, be accurate here because they have means to confirm that. Then I understand that Hostinger does not allow paper click or impression advertising. A cookie insertion impersonating Hostinger remains the right to suspend my affiliate account commission if I use, uh, use such method. So you can click here, you can understand after reading this same way you can uh, read this. I understand that the minimum payment threshold via PayPal is $100 and three conversion each time. So we'll, we'll talk about that soon, but basically it's trying to say you will only get the commission if it accumulates uh, or exceeds $100 and um, at least with three conversions in there. So you can select, I understand, and then click on next. So over here, you can read the privacy policy. Once you've read it, just tick mark this. Then you can click on terms and condition, read that too, tick mark that too. And then I hear back and send allow the use of any uh, my, my company information, including sharing with the third party. You can read this and you can tick mark that too. And then just complete the capture. I'm not a robot. And once you're done, click on sign up. When you do that, it will process all the given information and uh, will initiate the registration process for you. And as you can see, your application is currently being reviewed and account manager will contact you shortly. So you would have received an email at your given email address. So in my case, uh, this is my email account. And when I reload it, see, this is the email I received. Same way you must have received the email too. You can open the email for more details. And here it says that your application is going to be reviewed and it's going to take anywhere between three to five working days. For you as well, it could take this much time so you can wait until you get final confirmation. Once you have received the approval from them, then you can start promoting. So let's say you got a confirmation from them in three to five business days, then what? Then again, you can come to their affiliate page. You can click on uh, this link, which will basically take you to this page. And you can enter your credential and you can log in. Since I already have received the approval from my actual account, so I'm going to show you how it looks like. And as you can see, once you enter the credential, you would see the dashboard. This is called the affiliate dashboard. Over here, you can see your quick states, your performance for the past seven days and uh, more details. Now, what else can you do? You can start promoting them, but how, how can you promote? Like you can't just take any link from their website, maybe from website builder. No, it doesn't work that way. So you have to use tracking link. So from where and how can you get to tracking link? So for that, you can hover offers. You can go to all offers. And over here, you would see uh, this available offer and you can click on tracking links, basic tier one or whatever tier you see for yourself. You can click there and you would, be taken to this, this section in here. And this is the tracking link. You see, this is the tracking link available for me. For you as well, you would be able to see a tracking link. So you can copy tracking link. And when you will share this link with anyone and if they would click on it, it they will be taken to the hosting a website. Uh, and it will be taking them to the web hosting. As you can see, this is Geo Web Hosting uh, and it's loading. So this is where it will take them. So accordingly, you can get your tracking link. Now, what if you wanna have tracking link for different thing, uh, tracking link for different services up there. So you can, from landing page, you can select the URL accordingly. Let's say I wanna have 
um, hosting an AI website builder, I want to have a tracking link. So uh, for that, I can just click that and you see the tracking link will get updated. So I can then copy this link and share it accordingly. Now, what if I want to integrate the link at the back end of my website? So I would need a tracking link code instead of the actual link. So in that case, I can click on add creative. And as you can see, I can click on add creative. And let's say if I want to use this banner, so I can click on, I can select the JPG file for that and I can click on preview and this will be the tracking link code that I can get. For now, this image isn't loading, but you could you could research and see which image is more suited for you and get the tracking link code accordingly and start promoting them. So this is how you get the link. Now you got the link, but the question arises: where can you promote them or like how exactly can you promote them? There are many ways you could do it, but still I'm gonna cover a few. So one way is doesn't matter whatever kind of website you got, so long as you got the approval, you can promote them on your website, maybe have a quick advertisement of, of theirs on some section of your website. That's one of the better way. Another way is blog. Maybe you write blog posts about different services of Hostinger and share your tracking link at the, at the bottom or maybe somewhere in between of the blog posts. So this way, when people would read those blog posts and if they're interested, they can click on those links and buy the services accordingly. Uh, the second way is social media. This is great because you could do many things in there. You could probably create a uh, post uh, about different services of Hostinger. You could also do um, reels or, or video creation and promote Hostinger through that way. Um, use your imagination, and but whatever you do, just ensure you're doing it the right way. All right, then comes the SaaS website. Now, what is what are SaaS websites? Uh, SaaS stands for software as a service. So if you have such a kind of website, that would be amazing because people come to those kind of websites to learn about different softwares um, or, or soft, software providers available out there. So maybe you could uh, promote them on those websites and it would be great to, to get more conversion from there. So this is how you can promote them. Uh, but so whenever you're promoting them, ensure you have gotten the approval and you have given that URL uh, while registering for hosting it. Now, let's say you start promoting them, you started bringing sales to them. Where would you see your performance? For that, you can come to the dashboard again. And over here, you can click on our reports and go to performance report. And this is a place where you would be able to see performance. You can click on conversion report and you will be able to see a conversion report. You can use different metrics to see different numbers. Now, how about the payment? How will you receive the payment? For that, you can scroll down to my account section. All right, so it's here, request payment. So you can hover over request payment and click on request payment. And here you get to see the details. So minimum payout is 100 for $100 for PayPal and three approved uh, conversions. Uh, minimum payout uh, is 500 for bank transfer. So if you go with PayPal, $100 is the minimum payment threshold uh, before you can request for the payment. And if you go with the bank transfer, then you have to accumulate at least $500 uh, with at least three approved conversions. And then you have to wait for 30 days as well uh, before you can request for the, uh, the the payment of the commission. To receive your payout or, or the payment or the commission payment rather, you have to send a request to this email address with your exact company name that you have given in your affiliate dashboard, uh, as well as your PayPal email address or the bank details, wherever you want them to issue or, or send the payment to. Uh, the payments are issued on 28th of every month. Uh, it's important that you send the request by the end of month because the invoice to generate is on the first of every month. So keep that in mind. But as you, as you have seen here, you have to accumulate this commission first and you have to wait for at least 30 days before you can send this request. And uh, if you do that, you can end up getting commission from there. And whatever, com whatever payment that they pay out, you can go to accounts, you can go to billings and see more deals about them, the invoice generation and everything. So this is how you apply for the affiliate program of hosting. You get approval, you start promoting them, start earning commission. And this brings us to the end of the video. I hope the video was helpful to you and will help you while getting affiliated at Hostinger and start promoting them. For me, if you got any question related to affiliate marketing, or if you want me to create a video on the affiliate program of any other brand, do let me know in the comment section and I'll try my best to create a video on it. In the meantime, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell icon so that any video I create like this, you get notified for the same. Thanks for watching.